Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. In this video we're going to look at using the recently released Minimoog Model D app for Mac OS. While it can run as a standalone app, for this example we're going to look at using the Model D within GarageBand and Logic. The first thing to do is simply to get the Minimoog Model D app. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the App Store on your computer and purchase and install the Minimoog Model D. After installing the Model D app, we can open it and start playing around. Playing it with the laptop keyboard or MIDI controller, creating presets, and a whole lot more. To open it in GarageBand or Logic, let's first open up GarageBand. Regardless of which program you choose, GarageBand or Logic, the process is the same. Let's select an empty project and create a software instrument. The default instrument that loads is an electric piano. Let's change that by going to where it says Plugins and selecting the drop down arrow in the blue bar. Select AU Instruments and we'll see the Minimoog Model D. Let's use it in stereo. I'm going to navigate to the Atlantic Organ preset in the recently released CMOS preset pack. This is a polyphonic preset. The Model D app allows for four voice polyphony by navigating to the settings menu and under advanced and synthesizer engaging the polyphonic mode under key behavior. Let's make a quick little loop in GarageBand and lay down some chords. First we'll make sure that the metronome is on. Turn on looping. Open up Musical Typing to use your laptop keyboard to play the Model D, and hit record. With these chords down, we can loop them, Edit the MIDI notes, and add as many new Model D tracks as we like for bass lines, leads, or wild FX. It's easy to use the Minimoog Model D app with GarageBand and Logic to build dense Minimoog compositions.